Hello and welcome to my channel Wonders of Price Action. This is the yearly 12 months time period and we don't see on the yearly uh, time frame uh, any bearish trend. On this, there, though on the continuous 3 hours, 3 years bearish uh, downward move but here we don't see any uh, bearish uh, stunts on the yearly level. Now what do we were we expecting? This was the week which was keeping he, this for two months this week this was the level which was not being broken to the upward ultimately ultimately in this year this level is broken to the upward. Now, what were we expecting? We could expect the high of this year, 1990. What was the high? This was 160.400 and now this 161.95, almost 162. So this is also broken. Now on the yearly base, what are we expecting? What are the levels? This is the 171 and 194 these two levels that we are expecting that could uh, send this pair to the downward but this is just an yield now we are going to see this on the monthly time frame oh, on the six months time frame okay on the six months time frame what do we see here yes same levels we have on the six months time frame this is the beginning of the uh, it means uh, this is the seventh month so this is the beginning of the new six months so in a way this is new a uh, new time period now let us find is there any level now what was the high of this six months High was 160.400 and what is the year? 161. And uh, what was what is the high of these six months? 164. Okay. So now we can say we can put somewhere here. Is this is this level is not broken? So we can expect that there is a downward move on the six six months basis okay so now let me remove this this looks too away now we have this 163 level now let us see on quarterly level this is the beginning of the third quarter of this year now we have to this is a new quarter. On the quarter basis, on three months basis, what levels do we have? Yes. This is the level. Now let us make this a bigger that we could see it. The, here we see. This is 163 is the quarterly high. That level is not broken. So 163. And uh, let us see what was the high of this quarter. 16400. And uh, what do we have? 161. So I think it is being rejected from 163.461. It did not touch this level. So it is the rejection on the quarterly basis we can expect. This quarter though is broken to the upward. Now, for example, on the quarterly basis we are expecting the downward move. We don't have any other explanation if we consider it bearish now on the higher time frames. Now let us move to the monthly time frame. On the monthly time frame, 
this was the breakout to the upward and this was the retest of this monthly level and now we have the consolidation of four months one two three four so let us consider it that this was the acceptance this wick is the acceptance to the downward and now this pair we consider it is uh, peerish okay now let us move to the uh, after the monthly weekly time frame on the weekly time frame now this is on the weekly support and excellent breakout to the upward and downward this kind of uh, breakouts happen on one hour time frame weekly time frame broke to the up and then directly touch the support the support sent it to the upward now is this support is going to send this up no because this has not gone this week has not broken the high of the previous week when this came down to the support it has broken to the upward there is a difference between these two weeks so we can expect that we are considering this a bearish move right now now let us move to the daily time frame and find out on the daily time frame okay on the daily time frame this is an excellent engulfing of how many days it has broken 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 14 no 13 because the close let us see its close is here so it has broken almost if we don't count these two days 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 without breaking to the upward it 14 12 days has been broken and the next other days after retesting this level were broken to the downward so what are we expecting from all this that supposing that now this is the beginning of the bearish trend on what basis on three months quarterly basis and on the weekly basis and on the uh, quarterly basis weekly basis and daily time frames <clears throat> we are supposing and our analysis now it is the beginning of the bearish trade now let us move to the four hour time frame on the four hour time frame this downward move was on cpi so here now oh, this one this is the head and these are the shoulders on the four hour time frame now here are the shoulders now it has been broken to the downward and has touched it to this support now where do we have to sell now which level on the four hour time frame here was also the uh, here was the four hour time frame again engulfing just this is not uh, closed above this it would have been better but how many days how many four hours for example here these two four hours has one two two three after these four hours has closed after, uh, below these 12 hours but this downward move was broken in the next next four hours this level this low is also broken here we have a support on the four hour time frame now what do we expect this from support from i think 
that the better entry will be from here and the stop loss will be will be much better at this level this is the stop loss level and uh, this is the entry level on the four hour time frame now we are removing the uh, additional lines now i think it is a good idea this is analysis you do accordingly i am trying my best trying my best to give you the best now what type what tech private options do we have after this entry we have these three tech private options first second and third now let us move to the daily time frame and uh, adjust this now here we have now yes this is a strong support first of all it was on daily time frame this was the uh, resistance and then here consolidation after long consolidation broke to the upward it was retested earlier after retesting it went up but it looks like that this is 151 is the strong support 154 is also support but after entry from this level if you are able to take profits at these levels then i think this is not a bad idea to sell this now let me put the short position short position from this level and uh, here is the last tech private option here we have the stop loss like my this video subscribe my channel thanks for watching bye for now i will be coming in the next video with another analysis bye